I'm almost five years away from 60. I have zero pain. I never take an aspirin. I don't go to the chiropractor. I don't go to any doctor. I'm not inflamed. I'm not on any medications. I am very active. I work out three or four times a week. I'm on my feet from the minute I wake up to the minute I fall into bed. I'm moving and moving. So I'm gonna share with you some of my main staples. So let's go. Let us see. Okay, yesterday I made this. It looks really crazy, but um, it's it's the falafel balls I showed you guys. But rather than stand there and, you know, make balls out of all of these, either I sprinkle on top of my salads as croutons, or I make one of my delicious Arab wraps with it. I made nine trays of buckwheat crackers yesterday. I put this on all my sweet and savory things. I crumble them on my fruit salad. I make nine trays of this about every two or three weeks for my son and I send it to Santa Monica to, so he can crinkle it on top of his salad rather than do the Mary Gone crackers or anything cooked because I mean, it, Mary Gone, you know, it's okay, but it's still dead, it's cooked. These are dehydrated. It's got all the vitamins still in it. Um, something else, another super time consuming. <laughs> semi time consuming thing I made yesterday was that TikTok trend. Pumfu is tofu made from pumpkin seeds. We did two or three blenderfuls of pumpkin seeds. This is a the Pumfu press. You go like this and it goes down and you're pressing it. It is cooked. But I'm not fanatical about anything. I also have a vegetable broth in there that with some tofu I bought from the store. I'm gonna show you because I want to show you guys what I eat on a regular basis. I copied the soup recipe from the secrets from the Blue Zone. This is mine. I couldn't finish it last night. I made a big bowl. So, so this is basically, you know, it's a lovely vegetable soup. It's got beans and cabbage and carrots in there. And what I do to make it taste uh, from a little drab healthy soup to make it taste ooh, ultra gourmet, ultra rich. It's crazy how one little addition can do that. This is my cream I made from blending walnuts and pumpkin seeds in the blender. I've I, I'm always changing it up. So now I'm adding hemp seeds to that cream mix too, as well as some Brazil nuts and the fattest nut on earth, macadamia nuts. So I do add like a handful of macadamia nuts in there too, because, well, I am constantly moving, so I need all the fat I can get. So I just put a dollop of that in my soup and mix it up and it tastes like, it's the equivalent of putting whipped cream in, 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 a, in like a, a tomato soup. You know, you know how good it, everybody loves to put whipped cream in the cream of, potato, cream of tomato, cream of whatever soup. So this is really delicious and I do gently warm it up. I like this soup a little warm. So, and I add tofu to that and it's just, oh my God, it just fills me up and it's so lovely, but it doesn't weigh me down. So I have been really excited. I've been meaning to do that food prep day yesterday so that I have my regular staples on hand so that I can quickly make whatever I want for the next week. So, um, you know, this is that, that cream I made from those nuts. And I know I showed you guys this recipe before, but it's just a staple of mine. It's just so delicious. It, it, it utilizes all these herbs that are just your body loves. I've got mint and cilantro and parsley in there. And I'm uh, going to throw some, of course, avocado in there. And if I had guacamole, it would even be better. Um, I'm doing kale chips today or tomorrow. That'd be cool to throw a couple kale chips in there. Going to surprise my taste buds with some pieces of garlic. Now, I know I'm not telling you guys to do this, but I have been taking garlic with me to restaurants since I was at 21 because I need garlic with everything, all of my food. It tastes so delicious for me 
And we know how like healthy garlic is as well. So, so it's a good thing. Someone asked me, yeah, but what about your boyfriend and the garlic? Like, how does he feel about you and your breath? And I go, I got him hooked on garlic too. So he doesn't notice it. Cultured fermented kimchi. Oh, I love this brand, it's so delicious. I could make my own kimchi, but why would I make it when you can find such good kimchi already made in the store, sold in a glass jar, organic? I mean, it doesn't get better than that. And basically, boom, that's my wrap. I might add some, a little bit of, you know, olive oil and maybe some seaweed too. How absolutely healthy this is and delicious for your body as compared to a Big Mac. Mm. 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 These foods are just so versatile. You can put them in a different, make different meals out of this. When I'm super hungry and I don't have time to eat, I make guacamole and then I pick it up with this. It's amazing. Also, um, I just started making buckwheat milk and because just buckwheat is just a powerhouse, it's so good. You gotta, gotta get it in you any way you can. So I started making buckwheat milk and I put that on my flax powder with my fruit. It's so simple to eat delicious and nutritious. You just not need a little encouragement. So I hope I encouraged you and I hope you get some ideas. And um, I'm not 100% raw. I don't wanna be fanatical about anything. If I'm gonna eat something, you know, if I wanna cook cooked pumfu, I'm gonna eat it because it's delicious. And it's still nutritious. And I'm still looking for a way to make raw, raw tofu. I remember we made, we tried to make it in our restaurant decades ago. It was a major fail. So I'll keep you posted on that. But in the meantime, rewatch this video, take notes, and, you know, just start, you know, yourself. I hope I helped you. I hope I inspired you to eat better and um, can't wait to create something magic in the kitchen and show you next time. <laughs> You guys have a wonderful day. I really, I just, my heart goes out to people that, that can't make the, 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 the food brain connection, you know, and that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. Have a wonderful day. I hope to see you really soon. Right, Marcus? Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.